Today, we are going to break down the responsibility that directors and officers of private organizations have to that organization and how uh, that responsibility impacts their directors and officers insurance. Here we go. Hi, Ryan Hanley here, founder and president of Rogue Risk, where we do insurance differently, specifically by giving you knowledge and information to make the right insurance decision. Now, when it comes to directors and officers insurance, the very first thing that we have to understand is what our responsibilities as directors and officers of an organization actually are because they play into the insuring agreement, the actual contract that a directors and officers insurance policy has. So when you purchase a DNO policy, a directors and officers policy, you're signing a contract and that contract uh, is held to three uh, duties or responsibilities that directors and officers have um, in order for the policy to actually take effect and be in force. So those three duties are, I'm gonna run through them quick and then we'll go back and, and break them down individually. A duty of, due di of diligence, a duty of loyalty, and a duty of obedience. Okay, so what does that mean? Uh, a duty of diligence means that it's, and it's, this is also referred to as a duty of care, that you are, that you are, taking the time to make the proper decisions for the organization, that you are doing the work of a director and officer, that you're not being negligent, essentially. Very, very important. If you are completely out to lunch, if you are not taking the time to make proper decisions, if you are um, not taking in all the necessary information in order to make a decision, or if you are purposefully leaving information out or not sharing information that could be relevant to the organization, there can be repercussions for that action. So it's very important that we adhere to the duty of care, otherwise known as a duty of diligence. All right, duty of loyalty. This one kind of makes a lot of sense. You have to be making decisions in the best interest of the organization that you are serving as a director and officer of, meaning you can't use your position to better another organization at the expense of the or of the organization that you're a director and officer of. So you have to be loyal to the organization. You can't be doing things that kind of undermine that organization, which also makes a lot of sense. And the third and final duty of obedience essentially means that you are adhering in your actions and your decisions and the way you operate as a director or officer uh, in terms of the bylaws or the organizational setup, the, the ru rules, the, the, the way the position is laid out, the, the job description essentially. And if you are adhering to these three responsibilities of directors and officers, then you will have no problem if there is a DNO claim. But if you are operating outside of these, if you are not adhering to the bylaws, if you are not being loyal and using your position to subvert the organization, or you are not taking in purposefully uh, all the information, or more on purpose, impurposely, without purpose, um, if you are not holding to your duty of care, for uh, in your role as a director or officer, then you can find yourself in a situation where your directors and officers insurance may not respond. So long story short, take your obligation as a director and officer and or officer seriously and have a D and O policy in place that fits your specific need. Don't just purchase something off the shelf without talking to an individual who can help walk you through it. DNO is a complex and often misunderstood policy that is very, very important to the, specifically the leadership of that organization because most leaders do not realize they have put their personal interests and personal assets at risk by becoming a director and officer of an organization. All right, so if this is the kind of relationship that you're looking for, if you need help with your directors and officers insurance, please give us a call, 518-960-6600. That's 518-960-6600. We work in all 50 states, so wherever you are, we can help you. Uh, you can email us at gorogue at rogerist.com. You can visit us online at rogerist.com, or I'm sure there's a link or a button somewhere around this video that lets you contact us. Whichever way you choose, we look forward to working with you.